Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use Xcode's version control system. So here is uh, Xcode. I'm firing up a new project. And we just go ahead and click Next. Let's say I want to call this Super Bullseye. And you have the choice to create, create the Git repo here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, not select it just so I can show you what would happen and if you accidentally forget to select it. But uh, usually you can just, you just click that. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start that. Just close that there. Okay. Now, if you go into this is your project navigator. You can also you can access it via command one. Uh, if you go into the source control navigator, command two, uh, you'll see if you go into repositories here, there's no Git repository because we didn't start it yet. So we can go up here into our uh, source control and just go to new Git repository, and then there's where it is located. Okay. And now I've added it there. Just go ahead and see that there's no remotes added yet. So we need to go ahead and add a remote. Oh, and this is where this is what you would see if you had selected that check mark button, uh, create a Git repository. So now you're in the same place. Don't worry if you if you forget to check that box. Okay. So right click on remotes, and we're going to add a new a new remote. Okay. And here's all the information. If you follow that uh, uh, Xcode uh, setup uh, video. In the, in the content assignment, then you already got this done. Here's the repository, super bullseye. And then let's just make this one private. OK, so now we have our repo up on GitHub. And uh, let's go ahead and the very, the very first thing, uh, as you notice, you have your main branch. And a, a lot of times, like Daniela mentioned in the lecture, uh, sometimes I get just so overzealous, I, I just start programming and on the production branch. But uh, what you want to do here is you want to go ahead and be in main, right, right click on main, and you can see new branch from main. Okay, and let's just call this uh, homework underscore one. Okay. Uh, now, this is what I, I mentioned in the breakout room. Sometimes there's this, this bug in Xcode where it shows that both, both of them are current. Now, it's correct up here. But then if you just hit command one, command two, uh, that, that will show the right one. So now I'm working on my homework here. And let's say instead of saying hello world, we say hello team rule breakers. OK, uh, so now I have a change. And I want to go ahead and commit that change. So I can go up into uh, source control and commit. Okay, uh, you, Here's the files that are changed. You might have changed a bunch of files. If you want to see what the differences are, you just click on the file. And you can see here's, the, uh, here's your new Here's your changes that you've made, and here's the uh, here's the original. Just which, which to me, I think this interface is really beautiful. Uh, it's really simple. And then down here, you put your commit message. Let's say uh, changed text view. That's a really horrible commit message, but uh, let's just go with it. And then we're going to push to remote. Make sure you select push to remote there. And then this one will uh, commit and it'll push. So it'll it'll do both. Uh, push means you're pushing it up to the cloud. Uh, think uh, if we were using like uh, gym terminology, like you're doing push-ups, you have to push it up to the cloud. So that, that, that's doing git push. Uh, and then, well, let's just, let's just let me show you something. If we go back to, if we switch back into main, you'll see that it's the original, it's the original code, right? It's the original production code. We haven't changed that. Uh, okay. So we're in main. It's the original one. And that makes sense, right? Because we pushed it. Uh, we, we committed those changes to the homework one branch. Okay, so that, let me just switch back in here and just so you guys, if you guys ever want, you can always switch, switch back and forth like that. Okay. Uh, and now we're back in our homework branch. So let's say that I finished uh, my assignment, my homework assignment, and it is time to, it is time to submit for grading. And yeah, this, this stressful part of it, got to submit for grading. So when you're ready, create pull request. And let's just go ahead and give it a title, uh, homework one. Okay, and then you can describe it, say homework completed, hooray. Make sure you go ahead and add us as collaborators in GitHub. Uh, just to, just to quick, real quick show you how to do that here. Uh, let's, let me just refresh the page here. Okay, so here's super bullseye. And you only have to do this once uh, if this is your, if this is your, your homework repository. Uh, just go up here, go into settings. And then go to collaborators. 
then uh, you can go ahead and add us. Okay, so uh, let's see, oh, Ryan should be Ryan R. There it is. And then uh, my, my GitHub username is Ashburn, B-A-S-H-B, uh, B-U-R-N, uh, Ashburn B. Okay, uh, so once you add those, then you'll be good. Okay, and then you'll see that right here in the add, pe in the add people. Uh, as soon as you just uh, type a little bit, you'll see that that'll pop up. Go ahead and add, uh, make sure you add Ryan too, and then you would click publish. And then once that's published, uh, we'll get a notification. We can go ahead and grade it. Uh, grade it that, uh, like you guys already know, the homework is due on on Monday before the before the lecture, and then we we grade it on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and you'll have it back by Thursday. Uh, so then, uh, let me just go ahead and uh, let me let me show you one thing that that's uh, that. Kind of was kind of confusing. So let's say we move, we move your, you're doing something else, right? Because you've been waiting for your production. Uh, you've been waiting for grading. And let's say you're back in Maine and then you're wondering, okay, well, where, where did that pull request go? Right? So then, well, I, I, you know, I don't see it here. Where, where's, is there a pull? Where's, where is it? Right? So let, let's say I've closed that and, and I'm doing something else. So if I, it's not, it's definitely not in Maine, right? Because you, you didn't submit the pull request from Maine. So you, you go back into homework one and you're like, okay, I, I want I want to see that pull request. Uh, I don't I don't see the pull request. Like where where the pull request go? Uh, if you go right up in here, you'll see homework one pull request. Okay, so it's it's up in this little toolbar up here. Uh, if you click on that, that's where it is. So if you ever get confused, like where where did it go? How do I get to it? Uh, it, it is up here. Okay. Uh, and then let's say uh, you will have seen you'll see some comments that says uh, maybe for me you'll say uh, great job, and then maybe there, and then there'd be some feedback of course, and then Ryan probably maybe Ryan has said something like approved. Go ahead and push it to the production branch. And if you were collaborating, that's this is how you would use it to collaborate with your team. Uh, and then once you get the okay, go ahead and click merge. And then let's just uh, give it some kind of merge me message. You can go ahead and, uh, and delete the source branch uh, if you want to. I usually just didn't. I just wanted all my homework branches uh, there just, just in case. But feel free to delete it if you want. And then this will go ahead and uh, merge them together. Okay. All right. Uh, so one thing that might be a little confusing is that you say, OK, I merged it, right? So if we go uh, into repos here and let's say we switch into main, and this should say, hello, Team Rule Breakers, but it does not. Right? You might be thinking, well, why didn't that happen? And that's because we merged it in the cloud. You have to, you have to pull those changes back down. So you push, you push changes from your local computer up to the remote. But you have to, in that, in that, uh, that gym terminology, you, there's this thing called a lat pull down. And you, you pull the weight down. You have to pull the code down to your local computer from the remote. So if you go up here to source control and you're going to pull that data down, uh, this should now say uh, hello team rule breakers because now you've you've merged it and then now you have it down you're good uh, doo -doo. okay uh, so now we're we're in main uh, we've merged it and we're ready to go for homework number two so we right click on main here and we're going to create a new branch from main let's say homework underscore two create that got a new branch uh, we can go ahead and Switch into there, and then you start coding away. Okay, uh, so that is the workflow for using uh, Xcode's version control system. Uh, Ryan and I both use it. So if you have any questions, feel free to uh, post it in the in the in the team chat or uh, just DM us. Thanks.